stop slipping and stop cutting your socks. We have 15 different color options between three grip socks and two sleeve types. Something for everybody at a price that just makes sense. Available now at puregripsocks.com. Here's how to remove, relace, and effectively replace the laces on your Nike Mercurial Superflies or realistically any other football boot with a one-piece upper and a lacing system. Where if you enjoy these tutorial videos, don't forget to drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2024. So first things first, you're gonna have to remove the stock laces, whether it's because they're damaged or you got some laces in a different color because you wanna change up the look of your football boots. You could, in theory, use any laces as long as they're slim enough to fit through the holes. However, you do have to keep in mind that the lace from here to here at every lacing position, basically in between the two lace holes, is gonna be in direct contact with your foot. So if you go with a slightly bigger, thicker, kind of rounded style lace, you are actually going to feel those bumps being pushed against your foot underneath the upper. So if you're replacing the laces, I would strongly advise going for something that is thinner and flatter like the laces they come with. Which for this tutorial, we're gonna be using these black pure laces where shameless plug, they're available at puregripsocks.com for just $3.99 a pair. Seven different colors are available. They're the exact same size and width as the stock laces. So it is kind of a one for one change up. And shameless plug number two, just because a lot of people ask, you can get about 50 plus different color and pattern options for laces just like this also available at sr4ulaces.com. Both of those websites, by the way, will be linked down below. And full transparency, you can get laces like this from other brands as well. Just keep in mind that when you are replacing the laces, once you've pulled out the stock ones, measure them and make sure they're the same length as the ones that you're buying, typically listed on the product page. Pure and SR4U laces are pretty well the same length as the majority of stock lace options. But if you are buying from somewhere else, just make sure the ones you're buying aren't too short or too long. Now, before we even start removing the laces, we do wanna take a mental note, maybe even take a picture with your phone just to recognize how they're laced up in the first place, particularly here at the bottom where you can see the laces enter at the first lace hole on the inside and then exit on the lace hole on the outside. That is typically how you're going to lace up just about every pair of football boots with the one piece upper. The only time you'll see it go the opposite way is typically when it comes to counterfeit or fake football boots, where if you're on a website and you see prices that are too good to be true of football boots that are typically way more expensive and they're laced up in the opposite direction, that's a pretty good sign that they're probably fake. However, when it comes to how they're laced up at the very bottom position, you can see that there are two ways of doing it where they enter on the outside versus the inside hole. There's really no difference here. It's just a matter of what you like the look of better. To actually remove the laces, I've always found that it's easier to stick your kind of non-dominant hand inside of the boot just to stabilize everything and then start by pulling the lace all the way out as if you were loosening them. You'll notice that as you pull, they're eventually gonna get stuck at the aglet just because it catches on that hole. So what you wanna do is once it's stuck, just push it through slightly with your index finger and then while on the inside, pull it through and now that it's all the way there, you can now very easily just pull it out from the opposite side. Repeat that process as you go all the way down and eventually you'll have the laces completely removed. And there you go, they're ready to be relaced. From here, it's pretty much just a matter of reversing what you just did with the new replacement laces. However, it is a lot trickier than pulling them off and there are a few tips that you do need to know to make sure that the end result is that the laces are done up as cleanly as possible. Because it's a one piece upper and you really can't see the inside, I've always found it easiest just to, again, stick your hand inside of the boot. From there, you're going to take the aglet from the new laces and and stick it into the outside hole. So you can see right here, it goes in. I'm gonna push it through and then on the inside with my hand, I'm going to pull it just a little bit to give myself some slack to turn that lace aglet around and then thread it through on the inside back up to the outside. From there, I'm gonna pull it what is roughly halfway through. So I'm using most of the length of this lace and then I'm going to thread it through the inside lace hole, 
pull it through just a little bit with my inside hand. And again, this is a little bit tricky. You're gonna spin it around and then you're going to feel around till you can thread it through on the opposite side and then just pull. From here, this is where I like to take my hand out of the boot and then just lay it on the ground or on a table and make sure that these are even. As you can see, this is significantly shorter than this side, so I just wanna pull it through and then just recheck until they are as even as possible, just to ensure that when they are laced up all the way, you're gonna have the same amount of extra slack on both the left and right side of the laces. That right there is pretty much perfect. From here, you're gonna stick your hand back inside of the boot and pick a side to start lacing from, where personally, I always like to lace from the inside to the outside, but you can technically go in the opposite direction. You just wanna make sure that as you start every single tier, you're always crossing over first from the exact same side. So the lacing system ends up looking even and just is aesthetically a lot more pleasing. So for me, from the inside out, I'm gonna grab that aglet on the end, push it through the first lace hole with my inside hand, pull it through just a little bit and then turn it around. This is again where it gets a little bit tricky. Feel around with your other thumb on the outside and then push the aglet through the secondary hole thread that through, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side, push it through that first lace hole, inside hand pulls that aglet slightly, spins it around, feel around for this other hole, push it through, and there you go. You've already done the first position. From here, again, I don't wanna cross over this way to start. I wanna to continue to come from the inside back to the outside, thread it through the first hole, pull it through slightly, spin it around, find the opening from the inside, push it through, pull. Continue that all the way to the top and you are pretty much good to go. And there you have it, the laces have been replaced.